Hey everyone and welcome to another video and in this video we are going to be building this app which will allow us to switch between light and dark mode using this picker here and we're going to be changing the styling across the whole app as you can see here and we're going to be using a new property wrapper in iOS 14 called app storage which will allow us to interact with the user defaults directly from our Swift UI view and that will mean we can save the dark mode flag so that when the user closes the app and reopens it, we'll remember what mode they were in and we can display that. So let's head over to Xcode and get started. So we're gonna create a new project, an app, and make sure you've got SwiftUI selected in the SwiftUI app lifecycle. And I'm gonna call this mode switch and just create that. And I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger for you and remove this and get the canvas going. And the first thing I'm gonna do is actually change the name of this content view to mode switch view. You can do a find and replace if you want. I find this is just as quick. And then just change the name of the content view file and go into your mode switch app.swift and just change the, the view that's in the window group here. And then if we head back to our mode switch view, we can start to build out the picker. So let's remove this text, hello world. And we're just gonna have a VStack, which will contain our picker with a title of mode. And then we need a selection. And this is going to be whether this is light or dark. So we can say is dark mode. And you can see here that this is gonna be a binding. And then inside our picker, we're gonna have two options. One is going to be light, and one is going to be dark. And we need to give these a tag, which will represent whatever this binding is, so that when you select one, we will set this binding to whatever the tag is. So with light mode, we want to tag that as false, because it will be setting this is dark mode to false. And with dark mode, we want to tag it to true because it will be setting its dark mode to true. And the final thing we need to set up is this actual property. So if we come to the top here and we say at app storage is dark mode, private var is dark mode equals false. And I'll explain what's happening here. So this app storage allows us to essentially shortcut away to the user defaults. So we're going to be setting a flag is dark mode. And if we don't have that in our user defaults already, it will just set it to false. If we do, it will read the value from our user defaults. So by adding that here, we are setting this app storage flag or user defaults flag to false when we click light or tap light and to true when we tap dark. And then it's stored in the user defaults. So if we just try and run this quickly, You can see we get light and dark, not quite what we want. So what we need to do in order to make this look more like our initial app here, this nice picker, is we need to give this picker a style. So we're gonna have picker style, and we're gonna have this as segmented picker style. And we should see this update. There we go, that's nice. And then we need to add some padding so this gets moved in a bit. And then we're just gonna add a spacer for now at the bottom so this picker gets pushed to the top. And uh, it's already starting to look a bit like what we have here. So now this bit here is a list, so let's go and add that. So instead of the spacer, we can have a list. And what we're gonna have in the list is just a range from zero to less than five. And the ID of this is gonna be self. And then we're gonna have that number there, in. And what we're gonna do is just have text and interpolate the number into a string. And there you go, you can start to see the list forming here. So we've got our list and remember that we had this navigation onto a second screen here. So we can do that 
So what we need to do for that is wrap our text in a navigation link, set a destination. This is going to be text with that num again, same as we got below. And then the content itself, which is our text here. And then we just need one extra bracket and we can do command A, control I to realign all this. And then if we try and run this again, and then you can see that our preview has been updated here with this navigation link. And if we actually run this in the preview, we don't get anything when we uh, tap on these because the navigation link will only work if it's inside a navigation view. So what we can do is come to our mode switch app and we can wrap our mode switch view in a navigation view here. And then we can come back to our mode switch view and on our VStack here, we're just gonna add a navigation title of mode switch. And if we actually run the app now, we can see that it's already taking shape. So we've got our switch here, we've got our navigation, and the only thing that's not working is this uh, switch between light and dark. So let's go ahead and implement that. So if we head back to our mode switch app, what we can do is add our tab view. And you can see in our initial app that we have these two tabs, so let's do that. Let's add our tab item and we're gonna have an image with system name of list.bullet, I think it is. And the text is just gonna be list. And then we're gonna have another view, which will be text profile with tab item of image system name person and text of profile. And this is just to show you that the color scheme that we're going to apply on tab view will affect all of these views as well. So we've got our two tabs and if we run this, we can see them here, but this one's blue. And what we can do for this is just give the tab view an accent color of dot primary. And if we rerun this, we get the correct view uh, color here for the selected state. And we also get the correct color here for this back button. And in order to get the dark mode working correctly, we need to look at our app storage again here. So we're going to say at app storage is dark mode, private var is dark mode. And we're going to set this to false if we don't have anything. And all we need to do, and there's two ways of doing this, is type dot preferred color scheme is dark mode question mark dot dark else dot light so this is one way of doing it so if we run this you can see that dark mode is active and if we switch to light and then close the app and reopen it it will remember that it was in light and the other way of doing it is to type dot environment and then the key path is going to be color scheme. And then you can just do the same logic here. So if you comment that one out, and let's rerun it on a bigger device here. So you can see here we've got light and dark. And we switch to dark. So it works exactly the same way. If we close the app and rerun it, it remembers that it's in dark mode and all the views are styled correctly. So there's your two ways of doing it. And I think that's pretty easy and this app storage is really nice. So if you like this tip and this video, then please give the video a like and subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you for the next one.